Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This Landsat image from October 3rd of last year shows the Mississippi River Delta, where the largest river in the United States empties into the Gulf of Mexico. In this false color image, land vegetation appears pink, while the sediment of the surrounding waters are bright blue and green. The delta is known as the Birdfoot Delta because of the shape created by the channels extending outward. The Mississippi River Delta built up over millions of years owing to sediment deposition. The tons of sediment carried by the river system created the wetlands in southern Louisiana, which are home to many endangered species and help to protect the mainland from hurricane winds by acting like speed bumps. Over the last several decades, however, the delta's sediment load has been drastically reduced by natural and man-made factors. Extensive oil and gas extraction causes subsidence of the delta and wetlands, and rising sea levels increase erosion as the freshwater vegetation dies due to the influx of saltwater. Currently, a chunk of land the size of a football field is lost about every half hour. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina destroyed much of the wetlands, while the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill affected natural wildlife and the fishing industry. This area is of significant economic importance, providing about 17% of the oil supply to the U.S. and 16% of fisheries harvest, such as shrimp, crab, and crayfish. A third of the nation's oysters come from the Mississippi River Delta. The thematic mapper on Landsat 5 is jointly managed by NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey. ESA supports the Landsat series as a third-party mission, meaning it uses its ground infrastructure and expertise to acquire, process, and distribute Landsat data to its users. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. You can watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels.